Hi, I'm Matt with K15T and we're going to look at Confluence page elements. They're super cool, so let's check them out. Page elements are those little bits and bobs that you can use to make the information on your Confluence page really stand out. These are really helpful visual tools that often make the most important information on your page pop, which is exactly what people need to find it. There are a lot of useful elements in Confluence and you may have already seen or used some of these without even knowing it. So headings, headings are great for breaking up text or action items for creating a list of things people need to do. And maybe you want to drop some at mentions on those so you can assign them to people. Um, emoji, those are elements that you can use to just add some visual to your page. You can add a code snippet element so you can format the content in there nicely just like the code that you've dropped in. Or you can add an expand so you can hide some content. Those are all cool elements, but maybe there are some that you haven't seen yet, like this. This is the date element, which is great for picking a specific date and having that really highlighted on the page. In fact, you could add two date elements with like a dash in between them to sort of visually show a date range. It's nice also that there's a calendar picker here so you can change and modify these whenever you need to. And one thing to note is you can't select a time, which is kind of a bummer, but it's still an incredibly useful element. The decision element is really great for documenting what did the team finally decide. This is great because it's called out very visually on the page so you can see here's the decision or the decisions that we made. And you can even use a decision report macro to display all of those that you have throughout Confluence. One of my favorite elements is the panel. It helps content stand out on the page with four predefined styles or you can do what I really love to do and create a totally custom panel. So you can pick an emoji icon or no icon at all. You can pick the background color. So you can really make a certain bit of information stand out. We use these a lot. The status element is also really useful for quickly communicating the status of an item on a page. So a place where we use these a lot are maybe you have a table full of sort of items that are being done. You could add a status element right there, type in the status, um, you even give it a color, and these are easily changeable. So when the status of something changes, somebody can go in and quickly modify it. But it's amazing how quickly the eye will dart to that little element and say, oh, okay, yep, somebody's working on this. Now, just like the best people, the best Confluence pages typically are made up of multiple elements. Now, don't worry, you don't have to remember all of them and all their names. Confluence has tools to help us remember, discover, and get these elements on our pages quickly. If you think you remember the name of the element you wanna add, just type the slash command right on the page and that will give you a little element browser right there on the page. You can start typing the name of the element and as soon as you see the one you want, add that right to the page quickly. If you don't remember or you wanna find something new, you could go to the insert menu. This is where you can see a scrollable list of all the elements or if you wanna see just the entire collection of all of them, hit the view more button and you will see the full on element browser. Here, we can look through all the elements I mentioned, plus some other elements that we don't have time to talk about in this video. They're called macros. So we've covered the basic table of elements for Confluence. We've talked about how they're super valuable in drawing attention to important pieces of content on your Confluence page. This is just elements in Confluence. There is so much more you can do. So jump into another video in this course as we continue to explore using the Confluence editor to share what you do best.